Today we'll connect the Facebook API to NAN and you want to do that in case you want to do more advanced automations such as uh, having an AI agent access the Instagram DMs or for example if you run ads have API access to the actual ads and their content and the data inside of your ad account so you can do whether that's client reporting or just get updates when some of your ads are doing really well or not doing well or if you just want end of day reports about your ads the facebook api for nan is an absolute must so let's get right into it so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go on nan of course let's add a random trigger but what we really want to do is see how we can actually connect the the facebook api so there's two ways to go about this you can either do an http request or you can do a facebook graph api node so i'll go through both but for the sake of this, I'm going to use the Facebook Graph API. And what you want to do is you want to create a new credential and you see that you'll need an access token. Now, this is where the Facebook API is a little bit confusing. So what you want to do is you want to go to Meta for Developers and you want to make sure you're logged in with your actual Facebook account. So then you go to My Apps if you're logged in. And you can see that there's different apps I already have something here but I'm gonna create a new app so we're going to create an app we're gonna name it NAN API demo you need to add a contact email any email just does now here is you can see many use cases so for example you can manage everything on your page you can publish content and videos so if you have an automated content generation or some sort of workflow like that this might be good to uh, do here's the thing though you need to create separate apps for everything so it's a good habit to go here for example you would do um, content posting you just give different sort of permissions for this actual endpoint but for this purpose what we really want to access is the marketing API and a lot of people I've seen just pick this one and it doesn't work well it's because it says does not include access to marketing api so what you actually want to do is other you click next and then from here this is an estonian but it should be business for you so you'll see business and consumer you want to uh, pick business because that's where the ads are and if you do any sort of business messaging um, this is for example on whatsapp or on instagram and you want to automate that or have that in your workflow you'll need business truth be told i've never even used the consumer one so you go here you're gonna name this something uh, it already pre-populated for nan api demo for me uh, once again you need to add the contact email and then if you want you can add the business portfolio so for example if you're managing different businesses with this one account you can just give specific permissions to one business I don't really have attached to this Facebook account, so I'll just let it be. And you're going to create an app. Now that we have the app, we're going to go a layer even more confusing. So for example, here you can see you can add different products. Obviously, Facebook has a lot of different stuff going on. For example, allow creators and businesses to manage messages and comments, publish content, track insights, hashtags and mentions. So if Instagram is a big part of your business, this might be good to set up for you and kind of see if you want to get daily reports from the insights or just automate some sort of messages and commenting or or just have a consistent publishing cadence right you could have a workflow where you have a google drive folder and then you or your content team or whoever just posts um, all the edited and ready to post footage in a uh, in a in a drive folder and then a workflow automatically posts this this is all you can do with the facebook api but like I mentioned, uh, we want to really do the marketing API to access ad insights. So you can see integrate Facebook marketing API with your app. We're going to set this thing up. And then we get the token permissions. So these by themselves don't really tell you that much. Uh, we can have as management, as read, read insights. But if we actually go to the API docs, then that will give us a little bit of more idea of what's actually going on here. So, for example, ads management allows you to read and manage the ads account it owns, like that Facebook profile. 
uh, or has been granted access to. So you can create campaigns, manage ads, and fetch metrics. And you can also build management tools that provide innovative solutions, whatever that means. You got the reads, which essentially just lets you get all the data out, but you can't really automatically or use the API to add new campaigns or anything like that. What's the difference between ads read and read insights? I can't really remember. If you're interested, you can check the documentation. But um, there's sort of two things. I've either put all of them if we need more full-fledged endpoints. So for getting all the inf insights and all the data out for either clients or people who just really utilize paid ads at their, at their business, who's our client. Or then other times it's when someone wants to write ads and then have them pre-populate and create the actual ad sets themselves. Um, not having to log into ads manager, just using the API. So for, for this, we're going to put ad, ads read. And if you remember the access token here, well, this is now when you generate the actual ad, um, access token. So you can pick everything. Let's actually pick everything and let's get the token here. So you can see. You have this token, copy this, paste this here and save. Let's see if it works. So credentials successfully created. This worked. We can put an AN API demo for this and that should be it. Now, as soon as you refresh this, this disappears. So um, make sure you save it somewhere. What you could do as part of your develop development is you just add a sticky note and you do um, token just make sure you don't show it on a YouTube video and that's essentially how you can set it up so then you can do any of the actual request methods you can do um, node edge can't really remember what these are um, would have to reference the API reference document but the other thing that you can do here now is HTTP request and you can just get the authentication. You can go predefined credential type. You can do the graph API. And as you can see, we have the API demo here. So you can actually start to do stuff from here. I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, drop a comment. If you're stuck on any point or you're watching this back, something has changed, feel free to drop a comment. I'll take a look and I'll help you out. Make sure you can connect your Facebook marketing API or Facebook graph API to your NAN account.